Hey everybody, it's Dave, the Business of Fun Podcast. You probably thought I had disappeared. Probably with good reason. It's been kind of a month, hasn't it? March was the longest decade of my life, as the joke goes, right? How's everybody doing? I wanted to do something, right? Because I, I have been not posted anything to the podcast feed in a while. Uh, so first thing I want to do is I want to check in with you. How are you doing? You know, let me know. Send me a tweet at David Wakeman. Uh, send me an email, David, DaveWakeman.com. Let me know how you're feeling. What's going on with you? Um, if you need someone to talk to, you know, I'm here for you. Uh, you know, just send me the email, David, DaveWakeman.com. You know, let me know how you're doing. Let me know where your head's at. Uh, you know, don't have to go through this alone. I've said that a hundred thousand times, I think, over the last month, and I haven't said it here. So I just wanted to let you know, first off, that I'm here for you. And if you need anything, you let me know. So what's up? Um, you know, now that we checked in on each other, I'm assuming everybody's good. Um, I, what's everybody working on? Um, you know, I have been here trying to help people, you know, be a... Um, a shoulder to lean on, a voice uh, in people's ear, um, really just being supportive to people. And so, um, you know, I don't know what you're up to, but I got a couple of resources that may be useful to you, um, may help you think about things, uh, may take your mind off of stuff. Uh, you know, I've over the past couple months, I've talked to you about the Talking Tickets newsletter. Uh, you can get that by going to my website. It's DaveWakeman.com and clicking on the talking tickets link i've set up a slack channel um if you want to get the invite to the slack channel you can email me it's david i'll try to put it in the show notes but that doesn't always work so well uh there's a couple hundred people from all over the world who work in sports tickets entertainment who are in the slack channel um talking about ideas focusing on things for the future figuring out how to relaunch their businesses when we come out of this um pandemic and this financial crisis that is accompanying it. You know, so that's there. Uh, you can always check my blog. It's DaveWakeman.com. There's a blog link. Um, and what I've been doing, because I haven't been podcasting, is I have been doing a bunch of webinars. I've typically been doing at least one a week. Uh, this week I screwed up my schedule and I didn't schedule one. But as long as we're on lockdown, I'm going to try to do at least one or two a week. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post replays of them on the podcast here. So... You know, people can still listen to the podcast or they can listen to the replays of the webinar and they don't have to be there live. Uh, there's a couple great ones about rethinking your sales process. I'm doing one next week on strategy. Um, I'm going to post one in a few minutes with a friend of mine, Andy, from the UK about mental health and wellness. It's That was really great. Uh, I think, actually, if I'm a little embarrassed, but the tone was like a lot more serious because I try to keep this thing lighthearted. But under the circumstances, you know, Andy and I had a really great conversation about uh, mental health, wellness, sleep. Um, you know, just keeping yourself together during a really, really challenging time. Um, you know, from here, I guess the thing is, too, is like we don't know when things are going to start to ramp back up. Um, this pandemic really hits at the heart of what a lot of y'all do, right? It, well, I forget the term they use, but a Champions League match was like ground zero for the Italian outbreak. Um, and they've shown that like Subway in New York was like really um, a key driver of the outbreak in New York where crowds and groups of people get together, uh, either commuting or sharing an experience, right? Concerts, sports, events, theater, right? Um, we don't know exactly when things are going to ramp up again. We don't really even know when the economy is going to ramp up again. There's a lot of uncertainty. And the question that a lot of people ask me, is like, what are we going to do to move forward? Um, as far as the podcast goes, what I'm going to look for is I have been thinking about things about it's going to take more than just restarting the business when we're done. We're going to need to relaunch what we do. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to start talking to people and looking at people and trying to find resources that will help us rethink how we're, our businesses go and how to relaunch them. You know, I've come up with a framework that I like that goes rethink re reimagine relaunch so i'm going to kind of frame all the conversations that i have over the next several months as we start to ramp back up and have more events again hopefully sooner rather than later about rethinking our businesses reimagining the experience we're giving people and relaunching the business so that we can take advantage of um, people's desire to be together um, 
you know, one of the things I just posted it was picked up by Ticket News the other day was a piece about what I think the future of tickets looks like. And one of the things that I think is very, very important for us always to remember is that uh, there are certain things that are never going to change. And it's people's want and desire to connect in groups. That's never going to go away. People's love of entertainment and sports and, and events, the live experience, that's going to stay. Right. These things have been true for thousands and thousands of years. They're not going to change. Um, You know, they survived every other the plague, (laughs) the Black Death, the you know, any other pandemic. They have been with us as long as we've had society. Those things will remain the same. Uh, What will change, though, is that there were a lot of trends that were likely should have been evident to us earlier. And I think that the combination of the pandemic pause and the financial crisis that's being generated due to this pandemic is likely going to expedite some of those trends and the impact that they're going to have is going to make it much more severe. And those are things like, you know, the reality that over the last 30 to 40 years, the average American hasn't gained any money in their paycheck. Costs have gone up, but the purchasing power of the average consumer stayed the same. Um, For us, How do we manage that, right? That's going to be a really big challenge. Uh, Attendance has been an issue in a lot of places, right? Uh, TV revenues have propped up a lot of sports and a lot of organizations uh, in in sports, right? Um, But attendance has not been there. Is that going to remain the same? I don't know that it will. Um, You know, already seeing stories about organizations and uh, TV partners trying to figure out how to avoid contracts or how to uh, work around contracts. So it doesn't mean things are going to stay the same. And I think that some of these numbers had gotten so big um, that they were going to be hard to justify. And I think that this might be an opportunity for those contracts to be looked at again and not in a favorable way for the industry. So those things are going to pop up and we're going to look at those. Um, you know, and and I'm curious what you're thinking about and what you're seeing and what you're going to focus on, you know, and, and that's why I wanted to check in on everybody because, you know, it's an uncertain time. One thing I, I wrote for the Project Management Institute is about leadership in a crisis like this is that you need information, you need a plan, and you need um you know, just certain, you know, a little bit of consistency. And those are the things that at least in the States, we're not getting a lot of um, the UK a little bit better. Um, and then certain places like Germany, New Zealand, uh, seemingly right now, Australia, some of these countries are getting a lot more leadership and they're having a little bit better time of things than we are. And so I just wanted to check in with everybody and see how everybody was doing, make sure everybody was okay. Um, you know, if you need me, I'm here for you. I'm going to start the feed, put some of these things, these webinars into the feed um, probably tonight or tomorrow. And then over the next couple of weeks, I'll start talking to people about those three phases, the rethinking, the reimagining, the relaunching of the business. And hopefully, or not hopefully, we will. We will get through this together. Um, there are some really, really great resources. Um, you know, I would tell you to check out Intix, what they're doing. They have... Um, a webinar that's going to be out tomorrow, which will be uh, April 15th. I think it's at noon Eastern Daylight Time. Check that out. They do a Zoom call every week. I know we're all fed up with Zoom calls. Do another one anyway, because this is a chance for you to connect with people in the industry. Uh, there's um, a bunch of different things like that. If you need assistance, Intix is doing something around helping people in the industry. Um, so is Live Nation. So are a lot of organizations. You know, so look for those things. Okay. Um, so be safe. Uh, you know, take the virus seriously. Don't do anything stupid. That's what my neighbor tells me. He's a doctor at Johns Hopkins. Dave, don't do anything stupid. I said, have you met me before? Uh, but no, don't do anything stupid. Be safe. If you need someone, don't feel like you're in this alone. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Take it easy.